Hi guys, I Rakesh Talrejao. Welcome you all to the Concept Capsule series. Yes, this is the Concept Capsule series where within a short span of time in around 10-15 minutes, we try to bring you the important concepts which is important for the gate or engineering services preparation. And here in this small video, I'm going to talk about eigen signals. What is the importance of eigen signals? What actually eigen signals are and what is the interpretation of it? So let's get started. And in case somebody new to my session, this is a small brief intro about me. This is Rakesh. I have secured All India rank 9th in the gate examination and completed my master's from Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. Right. Let's get started, guys, quickly. To understand eigen signals, let me first of all start with actually a complex exponential signal. So why complex exponential signal? What is the importance of it? Let's understand. Just wait for a few minutes. We'll get the whole idea about this. So let us consider a complex exponential signal xt, which is e raised to the power st. Now, why I call it as a complex exponent? Of, of course, it's an exponent signal e raised to the power st, but where the s Okay, the factor coming in the exponent s will be considered as a complex variable which is of the form sigma plus j omega or in the beginning you can just take it as x plus j by any complex variable, right? And the signal e power st where s is a complex variable is simply known as a complex, expo complex exponent. Now, to understand the importance of this, to understand the importance of this, let us see ki when I apply a complex exponential signal to a LTI system, what would be the response? How will a LTI system behave? So let's consider a LTI system with the impulse response HT, right? And to this LTI system, let me apply the input that is a complex exponent signal. And my task would be first of all, finding what is the output YT, right? Let us figure out and since it is LTI system, everybody must be knowing that how to find out the response of LTI system. Basically, you can just take up the convolution of the input with the impulse response. So why wait? Let's taking, let's start taking this convolution. So the output is defined as xt convolution ht or we know that the convolution is commutative. You can swap the operators. So let's take it as ht convolution with xt and that can be further now written as that can be further written as the convolution formula for xt convolution ht should be of the form integral minus infinity to infinity h of tau x of t minus tau d tau. But sir, what is the xt that we are taking here? What is the xt that we are taking here? So here the xt, the input that we are considering is e raised to the power st. What is that we are considering is e raised to the power st. Now, now basis of this basis of this the yt will be integral minus infinity to the infinity h tau now x of t minus tau so if ht is e power st x of t minus tau replace the t by t minus tau now look at this what is the variable of integration the integration is with respect to tau here the integration is with respect to the tau here so let me separate out the tau terms and this can be further written as e raised to the power st e raised to the power minus s tau d tau sir right and since i am telling the integration is with respect to tau so anything other than tau suppose t can be taken outside the integral assuming as a constant right so in that particular case i can write this as i can write this as e raised to the power st which is outside the integral multiplied by the integral term integral term integral minus infinity to infinity h of tau e raised to the power minus s tau d tau. Now, those of you who have little bit studied about signals and even basic maths, you must be able to identify what is this integration formula. I'll tell you at last, but you must be able to identify what is this integral formula resembling integral minus infinity to infinity h tau e power minus s tau d tau, right? Before I reveal that, let us see this integration depends on what actually and to understand the nature of this integration let's hold this problem here and let us understand the nature of this integration to understand the nature of this integration let us take one of the impulse response as an example e power minus t ut right so what is the value of integral minus infinity to infinity h tau e raised to the power minus s tau d tau right yeah you can also take it as integral minus infinity to infinity ht e power minus st 
dt because in a definite integral the name of the variable doesn't matter it could be a b c x y z gamma beta alpha tau nothing matters na so now i am putting the value integral minus infinity to the infinity let us put the value of ht that is e power minus t ut then e power minus st dt right now since ut is involved since ut is involved right t must be greater than equal to 0 otherwise the value of ut will be 0 right so taking t greater than equal to 0 the limit of integration becoming 0 to infinity let us club both the exponentials let us club both the exponentials e power minus common s plus 1 t dt and that is further equal to e power minus of s plus 1 into t divided by minus of s plus 1 basic integration formula e power a x divided by a right now putting down the limit 0 to infinity upper limits are e power minus infinity that will be converging to 0 minus e raised to the power minus 0 is divided by minus of s plus 1 minus of s plus 1 right now e power minus infinity is equal to the 0 right e power 0 is 1 so what you are left with minus 1 minus minus cancelled and 1 upon s plus 1 now as i told you those of you who are able to recall what is this integration formula they must be able to directly guess this answer right what is that integral formula what is that transform we will come to it right now i don't want to reveal but you must be intelligent enough to understand okay so what is this integral 1 upon s plus 1 that means i can say something that the integral minus infinity to infinity h tau e power minus s tau d tau is 1 upon s plus 1 for this example yeah just i want to explain you that this is nothing but a function of s this is nothing but a function of s it depends on the complex variable s it depends on what it depends on the complex variable s right and for a particular value of s suppose i tell you s s can be complex but let's take a simple example suppose i tell you s is equal to 1 so the answer is 1 upon 1 plus 1 1 by 2 which is a constant for any specific value of s it's gonna be constant it's gonna be constant now if that is the case if that is the case here i have h of s 1 upon s plus 1 right what was my input guys what was my input i applied the input as e power st what is the output i am obtaining what is the output i am obtaining e power st multiplied by the integral term e raised to the power st multiplied by the integral term that is 1 upon s plus 1 right or i can write it as e raised to the power st into some function of s let us further understand it by some examples right suppose input is e power st let me tell you let me take some examples for you suppose the input is e power 2t what will be the output e raised to the power 2t is multiplied by 1 upon s plus 1 1 upon 2 plus 1 so the answer is 1 by 3 e raised to the power sorry 1 by 3 e raised to the power 2t right Suppose somebody says that, so let us take e power 5t, so le lete hai, e power 5t is multiplied by 1 upon 5 plus 1, so the answer this time is 1 by 6, e raised to the power 5t, okay, suppose somebody says, suppose somebody says, okay, sir, let us take e raised to the power 1 plus j into t, s can be complex also, so it is e raised to the power 1 plus j t is multiplied by 1 upon 1 plus j plus 1, so the factor here also will be a complex number that is 1 upon 2 plus j 1 upon s plus 1 get the 1 upon 2 plus j e raised to the power 1 plus j multiplied by t sir can i even take a constant suppose i take the input that is equal to 6 6 can be treated as 6 e raised to the power 0 into t why not 6 e raised to the power 0 into t now what will be the output the output will then become guys the output will then become 6 is multiplied by 1 upon s plus 1. What is the value of s? s is the exponent power, a factor in the exponent power that is 0. So, 0 plus 1 is 1. So, the answer remains to be 6. Here it is 6. It may not be always 6. So, if the input was 6, output is also 6. The point is, the point is, the point is key. If the input is e power 2t, the output is also of the e power 2t form just multiplied by a constant number, nothing much. If the input is e power 5t, the output is also e power 5t multiplied by some constant 1 by 6. 
that means input output have a clear similarity between them i can say that output resembles the input form whatever is the type of input you apply similar type of output you obtain only with a change in amplitude only with a change in amplitude the importance of complex exponentials is that the response of lti system to complex exponential the response of lti system to complex exponential is the same complex exponential only with a change in amplitude now now before i explain you yeah that is what i have uh, you know this is already discussed if the input is e power st the output is e power st multiplied by some multiplied by some amplitude multiplied by some amplitude factor that is hs now before we speak further about this let us just try to recall something from maths as well how is this closely related with the maths to so have a look into this whenever to a linear system defined with the matrix a go to the linear algebra go to the linear algebra basics right you have a matrix a right system with matrix a you apply the input vector x and you obtain the output lambda x we write this equation x we write this equation as a into x a multiplied with x obtained as lambda x for all those vectors for which this happen for all those vectors for which this happen this is not true for all vectors but for those vectors where ax is equal to lambda x input is x output is lambda x output is i can say that proportional to x so if the input is x output is 5x if the input is x output may be 10x right output is taking the similar form as input those vectors in linear algebra theory we define it as eigen vectors and this corresponding multiplication number is known as the eigen value similarly guys those input signals or functions of the form e power st for which the output for which the output is similar e power st only multiplied by some lambda those signals are known as eigen signals like we call eigen value we call these signals as eigen signals or also known as eigen functions in different textbooks right so now hs this is what i have already defined okay this is known as the eigen signal the e power st is a class of eigen signal of the lti system continuous time lti system it is different for discrete time but in this small video i am covering only continuous time now now the complex constant hs as i told you the output is just multiplied by some number hs which depends on s right what is this hs e power what is this hs integral minus infinity to infinity h tau e power minus s tau d tau try to recall this is what is basically the laplace transform of ht the laplace transform of impulse response also known as the transfer function so when we go deep into signals and systems guys this particular class of signal is very important this is what actually gives rise to growth to uh, laplace transform this is what gives growth to the complete fourier analysis right how fourier analysis let me give you a brief idea that also this is what already discussed so so suppose suppose try to understand like this okay try to understand like this na suppose if i take the input let's go back to this particular table and understand this concept okay this is what is understood now suppose if the input is e power 2t the output is 1 by 3 e power 2t if the input was e power 5t then the output is 1 by 6 e power 5t right so suppose if i tell you if the input is e power 2t plus something like 4 e power 5t then what will be the output because we are studying lti systems l for linearity linearity follows additivity the output will become 1 by 3 e power 2t if two inputs are added their outputs are also added so 1 by 3 e power 2t plus four times the above output to so 4 by 6 e power 5t now think reverse given any input in the world this is only e power st this eigen signal theory is applicable for e power st given any input in the world which is not exponential which is not complex exponential but now next thought process came by fourier fourier thought ki if i break any signal in the form of complex exponentials given any random signal maybe rectangular triangular if i break it into complex exponential then i can easily obtain the output the whole task of finding the output of lti system would become easy 
that is what i'm just uh, trying to hint this one also if the input to a LTS system can be broken as can be represented as linear combination of complex exponential that is summation a k e power s k t then output also becomes very simple what is the output whenever the input is e power s k t the output is the same e power s k t multiplied by h of s k multiplied by h of s whole process of finding the output also becomes very very easy now only thing is first of all Fourier started with the analysis of periodic signals for periodicity what he did okay for periodicity what he did he just put s equal to j omega so that e power s t becomes e power j omega t and everybody must be knowing e power j omega t is a periodic class of signal right to represent periodic signals he, he took s is equal to j omega and then what was grown was for your analysis nothing if you just put here summation a k e raised to the power let the s k is equal to j k omega e raised to the power j k omega t this is what is nothing but the Fourier series so when we go into depth now nah, this is the point where you can define what Fourier series is why we need Fourier series what is Fourier transform right even in the similar formula where is that formula even in this formula you just put s is equal to j omega what do you get this integral minus infinity to infinity h tau e raised to the power minus j omega tau d tau is nothing but the Fourier transform formula this is nothing but the Fourier transform formula so the complete analysis of transform theory can begin with this point that is how this important signal is the complex exponential signal which is a class of eigen signal for continuous time LTI system right this is the point where we start discussing uh, the Laplace transform Fourier transform Fourier series and now towards the end I'll just give you a small assignment guys right complete this assignment and do not forget to comment your answers in the same video I will also be sharing the answer of all the three a LTI system has the impulse response e power minus 3t ut right this is actually e power minus 3t ut I'm sorry u is mixed find the response of the system to the input e power 2t e power minus 5t there's a little trick involved here right and 10 right I hope you have liked this video, you have liked this concept, try to complete this assignment and once you complete, please do comment in the comment box your response. I will also give the correct answers and then you can match it up. We'll bring you more such videos in the concept capsule, small, small concepts, you know, very important concepts for gate and engineering services point of view. And even in the eigen signals gate, there are questions and we can definitely expect the question directly on this eigen signal theory eigenfunction theory in the upcoming gate examinations okay this is rakesh silrija signing off bye bye thank you stay safe and take care of yourself